Hi all, 30th of August, Sunday today, and um, I went to the shooting club to the Greyhound yesterday, but uh, unsuccessful mission as far as filming went, because uh, it was unbelievably windy, and I mean seriously windy, um, so I didn't bother doing any filming, I don't think me, me little camera would have stood the, uh, the gusts what was coming through, it was even, at times it was even moving me Virarc very slightly. So, uh, yeah, I did some good shots and I also did some bad ones, shooting at 55 yards, small spinners, uh, knocking your pellets all over the place. So I didn't, I didn't even bother getting my camera out of the box and doing any filming. So never been there before on a Sunday. So I booked myself in today and um, see what happens. The sky behind me is lovely blue cloudy and that way it's a dirty grey colour. And then it's all nice and calm and then all of a sudden gusts of wind are coming so it may be a repeat of yesterday. I don't know till I get there but uh, I'm just about to charge the Gamo Fox. The lead's in all ready for action so I'm going to fill that one up. And um, I'll take the Gamo Fox and I'll take the Virarc HW97 and see what we can do. Do a few spinners. Three hours out of the house and um, you know, break the monotony of boredom of the bank holiday weekend. So, uh, on the next scene, hopefully, success at the uh, shooting range. Next to be 97. Well, we'll go for the 65 yard spinner. I'll just zoom into it. Hello, the old gun. Right, let's go for the spinner. Chicken dinner. <coughs> 65 yards. Yes. There you go. Yeah. One to the left of the pole. The square one. Yes. You missed 42 yards spinners. Let's try the rat. Oh, blimey. There you go. I did hit it, but it didn't. Um, it didn't pull the hole in the middle. You know, it didn't flip up to the actual to fill the hole. You know, that rat right down there beyond the bonfire bit. Mm. So a reactive target, a bit dangling down. Mm. I hit it, but it didn't go back up. I wonder if it's broken. It's a good distance. That bet's about 55 yards. You know. Let's try for this spinner. 10, 15, 20, 25 yards. Ten oh, where's that spinner? Oh, there it is. What a wally. i filming the wrong one, I just hit it and all. 66 yards spinner, 6 mil. Try again.
Well, to conclude that footage, I thought I'd have to uh, add a bit more to it because it was uh, pretty useless in the sense that, uh, unbeknown to me, every Sunday at um, the pub behind where I shoot, literally, beyond the hedge where we're sat, um, the pub are using the back garden. We've got some noise going on in the back there, but uh, the pub are using the back garden and they had a live singer on and to be fair, they were quite good. Um, so there's certain, certain parts where I aimed at a 20 mil target 50 yards away and hit it but because you could clearly very loudly hear the music being played I'd probably get flagged by YouTube um, so I didn't include uh, most of that I didn't include in the, in the shooting video and then I had a guy to the right of me with a deep uh, brummy accent shouting across to fellas about 30 foot over that way and they're at full pelt so I couldn't really, unless I deleted the sound and put music in, I suppose I could have done that. But um, So I, I've, out of the half an hour footage that I did take, um, I only got five minutes, so it's not very interesting to watch. And, and the editing was hard work, and it's not, it's not brilliant. But um, So the last video I put up with, is, with the SMK CP2 or Artemis, I'm not sure if they're the same company, this here. Um, I didn't show much shooting of it because um, it was actual footage that I linked to the video from, from four months ago when we were on lockdown because I did shoot this gun a lot when we were on lockdown. I did debate ripping these sights off it, well not ripping, taking the sights off, the red dot sights and replacing, taking one off one of my guns, a set of telescopics and uh, but although it's a lot of trouble, I'm only shooting in the garden, I did take this along the other day. I didn't hit a lot at any great distance. My son had more success with it when he took it to the uh, to the shooting club than what I did. It's basically an unmagnified sort of lens. I don't know how well you'll see it. An unmagnified lens with a little tiny red dot. That's what I see when I'm looking through the uh, through this holographic red dot sight. Um, so at anything more than 20 yards is uh it's all hit and miss so i thought today just to make me my video a little bit longer i hope you can see this with my camo stuff on <laughs> i thought i put a put a cartridge in a co2 cartridge and i've also included the magazine which i don't normally use there's not a mark on that because i've never actually used it it's as brand new really i've got two of these magazines and that's what you get two of them when you buy the gun so my plan is this is what my plan is just to increase my video length a bit because i only had about five minutes of footage and one minute of that was me talking so my plan is i've put a target up there's five bullseyes and i've got five different types of pellet here I will rest the gun, I don't need to, it's as light as a feather, but to make it as accurate as I possibly can. And I've got, I've selected five different brands, I've got even more. I've got the JSBs, I've got the Gamo ones, I've, got, I've even got more than that I could try it with as well. I think, I think these are the gun's favourites, is those. The Diablos, RWS Diablos, I'm sure it shoots very well with those. These Victory ones, I've never even opened the tin yet since I've had it and the wife bought it. I, I'll give her a list of what pellets I wanted and she came back with these ones and the guy in the shop said they were the best ones. So, never shot one out of it. So being an SMK gun, you never know. And then, I bought these by accident. I didn't read, when I say by accident, I asked the wife first, she was on Amazon, I says, can you get me some RWS Super Point pellets? And I described the tin, showed her the old tin, and I ended up with the, the hollow point ones. So I've not, I've not even opened the tin or shot any of those either. So I shall shoot five, five of those, five out of each tin. Um, so I've got, and then I've got the BSA, the BSA Fury pellets. I shall shoot five of those. And then, the Webley, I think the Webley, is it? VMAX, VMX Performance Pellets, I presume, yeah, they are Webley, and those. So I've got five bullseyes, I'm going to have five shots, 
at five bullseyes with five different pellets. We'll see which I do the best with and which the gun likes. Right, turn the camera around. Oh, there's the target. I'm going to aim at the top left first. Now, I'm not sure if I've loaded the magazine correctly or not. I couldn't remember if you turn it anti clockwise or clockwise, so it goes both ways. So, I might may be at, at home to Mr. Cock up on the first one. Right, here it goes. Right. I'm going for grouping as opposed to uh, to actually getting the bullseye because the pallets are all at different weights. So here we go, first shot. One. Second shot. Third shot. Fourth shot. Fifth shot. That's it. <coughs> That's the Webley VMX pellets. Five shots. I'm just going to load the magazine with the next ones. Right, this one, I'll go for the top right, five shots, super H point, field line, RWS. See how these ones go. Top right, top right, I think I said. Load the first pallet. Where the fraction? One. Five. 16 yards by the way, 46 feet. I'm not sure if I mentioned that either. Right, ready for the next lot in the bullseye in the centre. SMK Victory Strike Points. Pointed pellets, these are. Right. In the centre. The shot one. Shot three. Shot four. Shot five. Those. Right, RWS Diablo, the flat headed pellets, but bit like, shaped like a hammer. I'll go for the bottom left on this one. Right, bottom left. The short one. Shot two. Shot three. Shot four. Shot five. So that was the Diablo 500s. Only one more left, which is the BSA Fury pellets. Bottom right. Bottom right with the BSA Furies. Screw the lid on. Right. Bottom right. Yes, 
이거. see how we did. You already know but I can't see the video camera and I certainly can't see that well where the pellets have gone. Let's bring it in and um, some eyes and look at it. So, uh, I've took the target down none of them really are too bad. I didn't I can't remember what weight of pellets this gun was actually zeroed in with because when I took it to the shooting club last weekend um, I don't know what pellets I took with me. They could have been, actually they could have been JSB, so somewhere around 844 grain, I would imagine. Um, without looking at individual tins, I don't know. I mean, like the Super H points, they look to be 6.9, so I guess they would have shot higher, being lighter. But judging by the results here, and I can't see this with my naked eye from where I sit when I'm shooting. I don't know, I can't remember in what order that I actually shot them till I come to edit the video, but from what I can see here, and on one of them, of the five shots, I still had one pellet left in the magazine for some unknown reason. I don't normally use these, and that's the first time I've ever used it, because they're very fiddly to load. You have to basically turn the top section, it's difficult to do with one hand, anti-clockwise like that, and then when you've turned it all the way around and you turn it upside down and load the first pellet in the back skirt first then you turn it over and proceed clockwise one by one by one till your magazine's full I think it's eight or nine I can't remember either eight or nine it is in one magazine it does work faultlessly didn't have a problem and um, the cocking the cocking lever uh, bolt, whatever you want to call it, is silky smooth. It really is. It's better than my blooming gamo. Um, you don't put any effort. You can do it with, you know, you can do it with, without any effort whatsoever. Fantastic for the money. These little guns. I, I just can't say enough about them. They're brilliant. Eight and a half foot pounds. The reason I've got the gun out, I'm not going to go into any details of uh, of this story. I'm going to tell you. I didn't plan on doing any shooting. I was editing the video. But uh, while the wife was in the kitchen washing up, she chucks bread out for the birds every day. Uh, I do as well in the evening time. So twice a day she chucks bread out and the other side of the fence is sort of no man's land with stingers and nettles and then a school playing ground. And then fields. So I sat there editing my video and she went, Oh, blooming hell. Oh, this is what you've done, cut yourself again. There's a big rat in the garden. It's massive. I got up and looked out the window and it really was massive, huge rat. And it kept running into the middle of the garden and getting a bit of bread then running off. But we did have one in the house last year nicking dog biscuits. So sadly I had to load this gun up but we won't say any more about that. So I thought well it's got a canister in it and I've only shot one shot I will, uh, I will uh, do some target shooting. So when I look at the footage, uh, in my mind, whatever your opinion is, um, forget how close it is to, to the ball because I haven't set the individual weighted pellets or the particular pellet I, the gun isn't zeroed for that so I never did expect to hit the ball's eye on any of them but to me that is the best one for the grouping they're very very tight um, I'm impressed with that one we'll call that a flyer there but that We'll say there's four there and one there, so whatever pellet that was, and I'll put it up on the screen in a moment, out of these five tins of pellets, the gun actually seems to like them. Now, I do know in the past it's like those, so I'm going to have a guess. This is this is a total guess. I would imagine it would be them ones, but I may be wrong. Um, can't see it being them. I don't rate them. Can't see it being them either because I don't rate them. Not in, Not in the guns that I've got. RWS are good pellets, but they're all not too bad. That one's pretty close grouping. I ain't got a 5p here to uh, to show you, but um, that's smaller than a 5p, the actual bullseye is, so 
you get a 5p over all of them except that one with that flyer the 5p would comfortably sit there and this is at 16 yards sadly it's as far as I can shoot in my garden so nothing I can do but what I can do as I've done today is test what pellet the gun likes best and then when I fit some telescopic sights on the gun I'll make sure I take those pellets to the uh, to the to the shooting club and um, and Bob's your uncle, hopefully, if it's not as windy as it was. It weren't too bad yesterday, as I say, but the day before it was horrendous. But thanks for watching the video. If it was at all entertaining, you enjoyed it, um, please give me a like, a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then I don't mind you saying you didn't like it. Um, or leave me a comment. I always try to reply to people. And uh, thanks very much till the next video. Um, oh, and before I go, I will say this much. Um... I've shot about 160 roughly pellets through the uh, through the uh, Virarc HW97 since I've had it. I've only had it a week. I've shot about roughly 160 pellets through it. Uh, I can come to the conclusion in my mind that that gun is as accurate as my PCP is. Um, I only obviously show you the shots on video that I actually hit. You wouldn't want to sit there for 10 minutes watching me hit spinners and miss. I do miss them. Uh, when the, when it's relatively calm, I, depending what distance I've set, what gun I'm shooting up at, uh, there's certain ones I know that I'm going to hit every time. They're normally at 30, 35, 40 yards. But the ones in the great distance, 65, 66 yards I think it is, little spinners, about a, probably slight, I don't know, may, I, I've never been up to one at that distance to know how big it is, but um, they are small. Um, 20 mil maximum uh, to hit one of those at 66 yards with a spring gun I would say it's accurate I don't always hit at that range first shot I may I may have three on the run put my video camera on and then miss it the next shot um, there's a lot of factors to account for but anyway as I say thank you very much for watching the video I don't know what my next one will be I do plan on buying um, a bit of gear to measure what power your gun does that's my next my next probably featured video i will do thanks for watching all take care